Hi, in this video I'll be inputting some 2D ducting using the sketch here. We got a 38 spacing between these pieces of duct. So we got 38 inches here, but the duct pieces are 54 inches by 63. But before I start drawing, I wanted to just establish a couple of things. So currently we have to type in the dim scale command. This is currently set to 24. 24 being a half inch scale. So if you're going to plot this out at half inch, if you wanted to plot it out a quarter inch, you go to 48. Eighth inch is 96. This dim scale is, is important with MetQ because MetQ uses a dim scale to factor the heights. And I'll be turning the option on where it will annotate the duct as we go. So let's get started with the ducting. So we'll just come over here and I'm just going to choose a rectangular shape for this example. And as I mentioned, we have 54 inch wide by 63. So we'll just change these to match. Then in our connections configuration, go in here next, we're going to change this connections at intervals of 36 inches. We'll change this to 38. If we want to change our flange thickness, I believe we're using uh, 3 sixteenths inch. So we'll just type in 3 over 16 and that should fix that. Now this extension, we're going to take a look at this when we get to drawing our piping offsets. But for now, let's just keep this as is, which is OK. And now come over here and pull this down. And we're going to be using the duck size W for this top view. And uh, then we'll go to the options and we'll make sure that our size and label is turned on here. And if we want to, we can go in here and you'll see this point one, two, five. Our text height is going to be this times 24. So that's where that scale factor comes in. Let's get out of that real quick. So let's just zoom down a little bit and then I'll choose the ducting again here. Make sure that this flange is set to flat and then we'll choose draw and we're going to just enter a point in here turn on our ortho mode which is the f8 key that locks it in so it's straight and then we're going to type in 19 feet and i count this out beforehand i know the distance of those first six uh, pieces of duct now we have these six pieces drawn in here now we need to draw this in here this goes from a 54 to a 65. Now we can do that with the transform utility here. So we're going from a 54 to a 63, and then we're transforming into a 65 inch piece here. Now down here, uh, we need to specify the length. That length is still gonna be that 38 inches. So we need to change this. And then we come over here and we choose the up direction because we're going up this way here. And then we choose draw. And then we snap to the endpoint here. And it's asking us allow for gasket. We press enter for yes. And then it draws that piece in there. So now we're going to draw this piece in here. We're going to use the offset function here. And now we're left off with the 65 inch here so we're going to change this to 65 or height 63 and then the offset length here is going to be set at 36. so i'm just going to choose draw so we choose draw and then we come down and then we click the end point here and it's asking us to to go in the upwards direction when we just press enter and then that draws in this last piece here. Now this distance is four inches and this distance comes from the connections configurations where down here, extension, and you can change this distance down here. Currently a set of four inches. So if you need this distance to be less than this, then that's where you would change it. I'm gonna do a dimension on the total length here as a check. Now I need to check my dimension style. So I just type in D for dimension style 
and come down to modify and here for my primary units I have the decimal format I'm going to change this to fractional or you could change it to architectural one of the two and and then for my text I'm going to use the same text as MetQ so I just use this textile here and I'm going to choose OK now I'm going to do a dimension line from the endpoint to this endpoint here so that's DLI for dimension linear and I'm going to snap to the end here this flange to the end here and I'm on the wrong layer but I have 309 as my dimension now if we wanted to move this to another layer right now it's currently on the insulation layer so we'll, we'll move it to the dim layer here and that's how you uh, would draw this this section out here you have a width of 54 and the height is 63 this is what we started out with when we started this drawing here now if I come down here and choose height what this is going to do it's going to draw it in elevation um, let me just show you real quick here how that would work so if I want to draw a piece here in elevation just do my endpoint and I'll come over and I'll type 38 and that's just going to draw in one piece of duct here now what it's done is it's drawn this whole piece like in this bottom drawing here the 54 by 63 and that's by choosing the instead of the width you choose the height setting right here now the connections remain the same we still have this flange and we still have the intervals at 38 inches so if you want to draw those six pieces in you would just use the same setting here choose draw and then come up and put your first point in here and come over 19 feet and that's going to draw that elevation drawing in there for you.